Today we're in Carmel, Indiana, and we're getting ready to check out a home from one of our old friends. That's fun. So let me get you outside. I'll tell you all about it. Woo, y'all get a load of this exterior. I am so in love with this home. I can't even tell you how much I love this home. This is the Forest Creek from Diani Homes. Now y'all know I love me some Diani Homes and I think they knocked it out of the park. With the black board and batten, the nice wood columns, you got a couple awnings up there uh, with some wood as well. And then of course, the stone going around the base of the home too. Whew. Now inside this home, it features four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a three car garage, and all of that sits inside of approximately 3,541 square feet. Now this home does start at approximately $650,000. And if you are interested in a home like this, we well, can click that link right there at the top of the description. But with that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, so here we go. This is the official last stop of this uh, Minnesota trip that we've been on, the culmination, if you will. And uh, I think we have definitely saved the best for last. But this is the view that you are greeted with when you do a first walk in. Huge two-story great room, love it. But I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick. I'll let you check out the foyer and very grand feeling, especially with these columns right here on either side of the entryway. I think that is really nice. Great big double doors, beautiful accent ceiling here with uh, this nice big light hanging down in the middle of it. And then of course you've got plenty of space to put all different types of decorations to really help your guests feel nice and welcome. I think that looks super good. And then of course, right as you do walk in, you've got uh, your coat closet right here. Man, it has been, a while since we've been able to get into a, a Diani home. I've been, I've been feeling like I needed to scratch that itch a little bit. I'm glad those guys got a new model in this one and they definitely did it up, everything. I'm excited about it. But from there, we'll go ahead and hop into the great room. And of course it is a massive great room at that. You've got the exposed beams up in the ceiling with that super funky looking modern light fixture, huge fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling with this really nice tile surround. I love the colors on this thing. I think that looks fantastic. And then you've got a little built-in next to that sitting just below the stairs. I think that's pretty neat too, how the staircase just kind of uh, goes up behind the fireplace. Pretty neat. Got some floating shelves right here. Some nice deep cabinets. And then there's a lot happening. So you've got the sliding glass door, huge window arrays going all the way up to the ceiling as well. We'll get out onto the back porch in just a second. I just kind of want to give you a good view from over here in the corner of everything that uh, is happening. You've got a nice big wet bar over here as well with the wine racks on either side. Some cool, check out this backsplash too. It almost looks textured, but that's like, I guess that's just like glass or something. But then you've got your wine chiller. Pretty nice. And then let's see, I don't know why all these doors always give me trouble. There it is. Oh, this one's got the fun locks on it. See, we get it. <laughs> it always takes me a minute, but, you know, I shall bend the door to my will eventually. But you've got this uh, back covered patio back here. Plenty of room to put a grill. Or just like another little seating space, something along those lines. They kept the board and batten running around the back side of the home too. I just, I can't get enough. Like the stone and the dark siding just get me. Like that's what makes a favorite home for me. Yeah, I don't know why, it just, that's what attracts me. Do you like it too? Is that something that you, you just can't, I don't know, I'm just like overwhelmingly excited about uh, darker homes, right? 
So how do you, what do you like in your, in your home as far as your exterior uh, elevation? Let me know that down in the comments. From there, we're gonna go ahead and transition into the kitchen, and I love the fact that it's broken up from the great room. You've got this almost like little window area right here. You can put some decorations right here or just kind of uh, have another little spot to put your drinks if you wanted to. And it is just a gorgeous kitchen. Huge island, nice big oversized pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. Tons of room for seating. And I didn't even show you this. Check out these wide plank floors. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's get into it. So on the back side of that little uh, bar area right there, you've got some shelves. Tons of storage in here. Like check out, well, I'll show you this first. I don't want to get too carried away. I'm a little overly excited about this one, I think. But you've got built-in microwave and your oven. Nice little coffee bar right here. With some more cabinets. Ooh, some Diani tumblers. That's nice. And then you've got the panelized refrigerator. Great big freezer down below that. Oh, you know what? I was thinking that the, the cabinets continued uh, around the rest of the kitchen. But don't worry, there is tons of storage in here. The island, it's got waterfall edges on either side. And then on this side, you've got the trash can drawer. Nice apron sink, beautiful fixtures. Almost like a, it's not necessarily like a, like a, a bright brass like we typically see. Um, it's almost, I feel like it's got like a little rosy color to it, which is neat. Uh, but you've got views around the plant, uh, back into the living room, and then the dishwasher. And then along the back side, counters just kind of turn up into the backsplash, almost like it's all one piece, which looks really good. You've got some nice sconces on either side of this range hood, some nice floating shelves as well. I love this range hood. And then you've got... Uh, the range itself with an additional oven. That's nice. I've been seeing a lot of these, like with these little, whoop, little middle burners. Um, I think those things look really cool. And then let's go ahead and go over here real quick. So you've got two different openings on either side of the kitchen, and, and we'll come back over there and catch the dining room and all that stuff. But we're going to start over here. This leads into the butler's pantry. So this is what I meant, like there's a lot more storage uh, here in the kitchen. So a lot of counter space in here, another sink. I love the open shelves. Another microwave, dishwasher. Soft clothes, love that. Another different type of backsplash. This one's, it's not textured or anything, it's just uh, a cool looking pattern. And then there are the nice, like, wide tiles. On the opposite side of that, you come into the powder room. So another fun light fixture. Single vanity, toilet. And then all the way through there, you come into the mud room. So I like this because, again, you're not too far away from the garage to the pantry, so it's easy to access and bring those groceries in without having to lug them too far. You've got the hall tree right here. Really nice color, too. Almost like a slate bluish color, maybe? Maybe there's a touch of green in there. I'm not real sure. But a lot of storage space up underneath of the bench. And then uh, let's go ahead and go into the garage. I couldn't really, it's hard to make decisions, you know what I mean? There's just so much I want to get into all the time. And uh, which way do we turn? But uh, let me get you over here towards the back. We've got a little attic access right there. And then the three garage stalls. I don't really see too much more in here. Now, I know this home does have a basement. I haven't been down there yet. I also haven't been upstairs. So I'll be kind of interested to see uh, what all we can find in the basement. 
and what they did to it. Because, you know, we're not in Minnesota anymore, so I don't know if there's going to be any basketball courts down there. Uh, but uh, you also have the laundry room back here. Nice tile on the floor as well in this herringbone pattern. And then washer dryer hookups, some storage back behind that. I love this open shelf idea in here. I think that looks really good. And then, of course, the window looking out towards old Bessie and a nice deep wash basin. And then on the opposite side of the kitchen, we've got the dining room, nice chandelier hanging down over the top of the table, some great big windows looking out into the front yard. And then behind that, almost like a, like a buffet type thing. Maybe an, a cool spot to put like when the family and friends come over and you're putting out some, some trays and stuff, this would be a good spot for that. Of course, you can showcase uh, all of your uh, finer dinnerware. You've got some great big, I don't know if these would necessarily be pot and pan drawers over here since you know, you're, you're not anywhere close to the stove, but let me know what you would use these for along this wall with the buffet. Just the big, big drawers, like what would go there, all right? And then from there, right behind the dining room, you've got these two great big sliding doors that open up into this office. So I like the concept of these doors. I think they look good. You've got kind of like some privacy glass right here. I love the wood color too. Definitely, it matches the floors, you know what I mean? Uh, and just the rest of the overall aesthetic of the home, and I love it. Uh, coming into the office itself, of course, nice and dark. Can't get enough of that. Tons of windows. You've got a nice little open built-in over here. A fun little light fixture. I love how it's just dark all the way around the ceiling, the walls. It's awesome. Perfection. Love it. And it's really spacious, too. Kind of a unique spot in order to, you know, in terms of where it's placed. Uh, so that's a little different, but I like the convenience of being super close to lunch, you know? <laughs> Gotta eat me some lunch. Anyway, from there, we're gonna go ahead and work our way back across the living room uh, towards the master bedroom. You've got access down into the basement. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back out, we're gonna hit up the basement, and then we'll go upstairs just because everything's right here. But uh, as you enter into the room, of course, beautiful high vaulted ceiling, love that. Nice big chandelier hanging down uh, over the top of everything. Some transom windows, some big windows looking out towards the backyard. And it's just like, its own sanctuary. So not only do you have the room right here, but as you can see, clear up towards the front of the house, uh, this is just like its own suite. So that's really nice. I love the exposed beams too. I think that looks super sharp. And then it looks like we've got maybe some his and her, yeah, closets. Some nice wooden shelves in here. Good bit of space. I think this is going to be the smaller of the bedrooms or of the of the two closets. This one looks to be a little bit bigger. You've got some attic access in here as well. Maybe some extra storage up there. And then into the ensuite. Whoo! My goodness. Get a load of these floors too. I think it almost, no, it's not. It's not even close. But it's similar colors uh, to the tile that is out on the fireplace. But gorgeous soaking tub, great big windows. Obviously you can get some blinds and stuff like that for privacy, but I think it looks really awesome. Um, next to that, you've got this great big shower, two shower heads, whoop, whoop. Gotta love that. You got the little foot rest in the back, tile going all the way up to the ceiling, and then this great big shower tray. I love big showers. It, uh, it just, 
it gives you a little little room to move you know what i mean but then you also have uh, the water closet with the pocket door and then let's see back behind us you've got double vanities it's like a little linen closet right here and then on the opposite side of the vanities i like this that it just looks neat uh, with the glass panes, but just another uh, linen cabinet. So a little BEA beautiful action happening in there. From here, though, we'll go ahead and head downstairs. Let's see, I see some French doors. We're going to go this way, though. Little, little misdirection. All right, so tons of extra storage space down here. Two water heaters. You've got the furnace, the sump pump, and just plenty of room for activities. Look at all of this space. What could you do down here? Would you use this as storage, or would you uh, would you use it for something else? Maybe you could finish this off. I wonder if you could. I'm not sure, but if you had that option, would you do something with it or would you just use it for storage? And then across the way, it looks like they've got it set up as a design studio right now, but you do have these French doors that open up into this finished section of the basement. So again, more things for you to think about. Let me know down in the comments. Um, basement area, what's it gonna be used for? What would you like to see in it? Maybe this could just be turned into a, a whole apartment area. And then some more, man, tons of storage. All the storage. Oh, <laughs> uh, a dollar says it's another storage closet. Yep, some little understair storage. It would have been funny if it was like a bathroom or something. All right, so now we got to put our hiking shoes on. We're going to start heading up to the second floor and uh, see what all is up there. I know there at least has to be two bedrooms. Uh, if you are interested in a home like this, well, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can head on over to refealty.com. Tell us a little bit about what you're looking for and about yourself, and uh, that way we can help connect you with uh, the hundreds of agents and builders in our network all across the country and help you start getting that dream home. All right, up top. Well, first you've got these beautiful views back down into the great room. You've got this great big kind of lofty sitting area, windows looking out into the front yard, nice big light fixture hanging down in the middle of it. And then just off of that, we have our first bedroom up here. These bedrooms are huge, tons of room. And then into the closet, I didn't even turn the lights on up here. Let's see, it's a little dark. Some great big closets though, too. Man, I'm failing today. There we go. So you've got uh, an ensuite kind of shared with the hallway right there with the single vanity. Beautiful tile surround around this tub. I like that. And then on the opposite side. Oh, four bedrooms. 
Interesting. Oh, and it's got a Jack and Jill that kind of connects the two. Another nice big closet. Some more attic access. Now I know there's a closet out in the hall. We'll, we'll check that out in just a minute. Uh, but you do have the Jack and Jill double vanity. So one on this side and then one on this side with uh, this private linen closet. Yeah. Right in the middle. And then back behind us, the water closet, you've got the toilet. Good bit of space in here too. Another nice tile surround, but you could even put like a, some type of, I don't know, shelving unit right here in between the, the toilet and the tub. And then into the third bedroom. And all of these rooms, I think they're all equal size. And all of them have a really nice big closet as well. And let's see, was there a closet out here? Yeah, I thought I saw one. Oh, it's just got the furnace in it. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. Definitely want to hear your thoughts about it. Thank you so much to Diani Homes for allowing us to come out here and tour this model. But thank you, because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to tour amazing homes like this across the country. So I greatly appreciate it. With that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And as always, my name's Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.